If you're a user of Ecamm Live, you'll know that if you want to add a video to your scene, quite commonly you'll find that there is no audio coming through from the video when you're playing it and you're, say, on top of it making comments or drawing on it or whatever else you want to do to talk about the video. The audio from the video is not normally there. And the reason is that's because of the file format of the video. So you need to make the video a WebM file. And what I'm going to do is show you the way that I do that using the Handbrake application. Handbrake is a free application and it's available on the Mac. And just have a search for it. You'll find it there and I'll show you the interface in the next part of the video. I hope you enjoy. I've got Handbrake running right now. So uh, you can see that and the icon is just below my picture just here. So if you want to go and download it, it's a free app, which is wonderful. Um, but I'm going to go into the uh, uh, Handbrake app and go to open source. That will then allow you to select your original video file. I'm going to go for this overheat one click on open and it will give you a preview so we're in an open kind of section here um, which is the summary so the summary gives you this preview so what you can then do is you can go to the dimensions if you want to and check your resolution limit i actually recorded that in 4k so but there are a number of things that you can do here drop down to re reduce that level if you want to or even increase it to 8k but i don't recommend doing that um anyway there's a number of other things that you can click on in here including filters there's video settings all sorts of other things but really what i'm just going to try and do is uh, get a webm movie and the way you would do that is you go over to this menu here on the left hand side where it would normally be mp4 and you simply uh, select webm at the bottom down at the bottom of the screen here you've got um, the save as option and where you're actually going to save it to so i'm saving into my movies handbrakes folder um, so that's a useful place to go uh, if you want to just see that. So that's that's down at the bottom there. Anyway, all we need to do is hit the start button if there's one video. But if you want to um, do two or three videos, you can click on add to queue. And then I can go to open source, select the second video and click on open. Now the settings will be the same as your previous video, but if you wanted to do something different with it, like dimensions or any of these other settings, you can change those. But I want to have a WebM from both of these so I can uh, add that to the queue. And I can then simply click on the Start Queue button. And you'll see that it says at the bottom here, Encoding. If you want to see the progress, you can click on the queue and it will show you how the job is actually going and uh, give you an idea of the timing for the encoding. So again, I will just pause this while this does this. It often can be very quick, especially if you've got a much lower resolution. I wanted to keep the 4K resolution of both of the files that it's encoding for me as a WebM file. So it looks like we're getting to the end of the encoding and you'll see very soon that that will be ready for us. So the first one or the second one is actually done first and this one has been done. So I've got nothing now left in the queue. I can clear the queue. I just wanted to show that here where there is a preset which I normally use is 10 uh, that I want to get a video file. Uh, resized etc to uh, uh, what 1080p at 30 frames a second so there are general settings and all sorts of presets that you can choose if you want to uh, so they are all there if you want to use them but uh, essentially if you want to get your webm file just click on that and that will do that for you and you can change as i say any of the dimensions or any of the other parameters for that video anyway that is now done for me. 
and I can close down handbrake. So what we'll do is go into demo mode. So we're in demo mode now and what you would do is go down to this area here where you've got new animated overlay. Click on that. That will then open up your window where you can find your newly made WebM file. If I click on that and click on open, if you've got it's actually so gone full screen. I can just simply drag down with my cursor to make it bigger or smaller in the screen. Let's just drag this a little bit that way. The and the sound effects oh, at the bottom here is the thing that governs the audio. Okay. So I can turn the audio up or down where I've got individually for that particular video. If you want to see this video, it is one I'm just quickly making to show cooling of a normal camera like the ZVE 10, which is what I've got. I'll be releasing that in a few moments time as well. So anyway, that's how you can make a WebM file and you can pause it if you want to on the screen, play it further and you can get it to loop and all sorts of things if you want to do that as well within your Ecamm scene. So I'll just switch back to the normal scene so that's the scene that you're getting and if i press play or if i can actually rewind this press play so again meeting. you'd actually be able to hear this in the background me talking over the top so that's how that would work i'll just pause it now so i hope you find that useful thanks for watching i'll just switch back over so I hope you found that helpful. That was just a video on how I use Handbrake to create my WebM files, which means that I can create a video which you can then bring into Ecamm Live and have the audio play on in the background whilst you're, again, recording over the top, talking over the top, whatever you want to do. But it means that you've got the sound from the video directly into Ecamm Live. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and I look forward to helping you again in the near future. Bye for now.